and welcome to the business of being a virtual assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching and listening to episode number 240. Now, before we get into today's episode, I want you to know a lot of times when I am recording uh, the uh, podcast, the subject matter is usually very close to me. It's usually something that I am working on myself. And a lot of times you see me working it out for myself in real time. So this morning I knew I had to record. I'd put it off long enough in trying to decide what to talk about. And it wasn't that I had a bunch of choices. I just, nothing was coming to me. And I don't like to uh, come before you and not have anything to talk about. So I'd rather skip an episode then have nothing. But at the same time, whenever that happens and I skip an episode, I think about it all day, all day for days until we circle back around to the next Friday when it's supposed to come live. So I didn't want that to happen again this week. So the first thing I did was got in position, setting up everything um, to record as if I had a topic already and then go through some options. So I'm going to help you and how to quickly move past indecision. I just did it live in real time. Once you get past indecision, that doesn't mean that you're gonna have it all worked out for every single thing, but this is gonna give you some guidelines to go by for the next thing. Um, Right now for my team, we are having to, well not we, it's me, I'm having to decide what um, email system I'm going to use. And so, I'm trying to, you know, figure it out. I used AWeber for years, switched to MailChimp because MailChimp was mobile friendly and I was finding that a lot of things that I was doing in regards to the email was from my phone. I wanted to be able to do it from my phone. AWeber at the time had an app, but it wasn't super friendly from a mobile device where MailChimp was. Uh, Now, uh, for my virtual assistant business, I moved all those people to convert kit and I just let it sit. So now it's time to decide what am I going to do with that list? Am I going to keep it on convert kit? Am I going to go to AWeber? Where am I going to go? So here's what I decided to do. And this may help you as well in your indecisiveness. Number one, narrow down your choices to two or three. Get it down. There's a million different email marketing systems and I'm using this as an example. It might be what system you're going to use to schedule social media. It might be what uh, payment system you're going to use, whether it's going to be Stripe, Square, PayPal, um, Shopify, this, that. There's a million of them uh, that you could choose from. So narrow down the list to two or three. And you can compare once you get your two or three, you can compare to see, okay, what's the difference between these two? Because you might not know. How do you find out what the difference is? Do a quick Google search. Somebody's probably already written an article or video to compare it for you. The second thing you want to do is decide what is most important to you right this minute. What's important to you right now? A lot of Email systems have all the bells and whistles. You can do sequences. You can do this. You can do that. All of these different things. So I had to decide what is most important to me right now. Because I'm in, you know, decision limbo. Can decide. So I got to figure out what, what's most important to me right now. I want to be able to automatically send out emails, segment my list, I want it to be user friendly. Can I do it from my phone? What does it look like to get people transferred over if that's going to require them to get transferred over? The last thing is, and out of all those things, what was most important to be able to set up my auto sequence? What if you say, well, Tiffany, My most important thing, every single option takes care of my most important thing. So if every single option takes care of your most important thing, 
what's something else that's important? Then see, does that second thing that's important apply to all of your different options, your two or three different options? I keep going to you are down to a process of elimination. There has to be a differentiator between the two. Um, one may have more bells and whistles than what you're looking for right now. You might need something that's really simple. What's important to you right now is that you can hop into it and get things going in the next couple of days. That means the learning curve, it can't have a high learning curve. It's got to be something that you can catch on to quickly. So there's going to be a differentiator between the two. They're not going to all be the same. Even invoicing systems, there's way, there's QuickBooks, there's FreshBooks, there's, um, what other ones? Uh, there's PayPal. There's many different other ones out there, but you got to pick one. You got to narrow it down. You can't be stuck in indecisiveness because it's killing your business. It's either killing your business from progressing or killing you, killing your business from getting started. One or the other. Now, last and final tip. Ask yourself, what's the worst thing that could happen if I pick this one? So if you've got it narrowed down to two options, what's the worst thing that can happen between your two? And you'll find that the worst thing is not really the worst thing. I mean, it's the worst thing, but it's not bad. You get what I'm saying? Like a scheduling system, Buffer, um, Sprout Social, Hootsuite, directly in Facebook, directly in Instagram. What's the worst thing that can happen in that example? The worst thing that can happen is that your post doesn't get published. That's like the worst thing that can happen. Hootsuite doesn't post on your schedule. There's a glitch. Something goes wrong. Is that major? No, you can jump right in. You can send it right away. You know, you will quickly realize that it's not that big of a deal. We make things such a big deal when it's really not. So think about the worst thing that can happen so you can Come to your senses and realize, you know what? It's really not a big deal. And then the last thing you're going to do, of course, is pick one. Pick one, live with it for 30 days. Pick one, live with it for 30 days. What's going to happen in those 30 days is, number one, you're going to forget that you were ever in decision limbo. You're going to be using it. Everything is going to be going lovely. It's going to be just fine. Or... You're going to hate it. The learning curve might be higher than you thought. Uh, you're just not catching on to it. The flow is not right. It's not user friendly. And then guess what you do? Go back to your other two options or one option that you had. Grab that one. Live with that one for 30 days. You'll eventually stick to your decision or quickly switch gears and go to the next option. Those are my tips on how to quickly move past indecision. You can do this. Trust yourself and know that the worst thing that can happen is really not the worst. Thanks so much for watching and listening. You have a wonderful and fantastic day.